Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host Nathan P. Butler, and now we return to the Clone Wars. You know, back when we looked at the season releases and those individual sort of cash grab releases of the Clone Wars, one of the things I pointed out was that that big boxed set, you know, this monster, this expensive monster on DVD and Blu-ray, I pointed out how it was called the Complete Seasons 1 through 5. And how, frankly, that's a little bit frustrating, because it didn't include the Clone Wars film, but also we knew it wasn't really the Complete Series, because by the time it came out, they had announced that there was going to be a Netflix exclusive, at least initially, Season 6, albeit shorter, that's later referred to as Clone Wars The Lost Missions. So we knew. That box set was not a complete series set. The question was, after being released on Netflix, at what point would we finally see a wider release, or a home video release even, of The Clone Wars The Lost Missions? That finally came to pass in late 2014, and now we have another matching set for our collection here. By matching set, of course, I mean a Blu-ray release. The Clone Wars The Lost Missions. Little green Blu-ray line up there at the top. That little sticker down here we'll take a look at in a minute. Inside, essentially, standard Blu-ray case. Same information that's going to be on the back in that case. Sorry, a lot of reflection here from the computer screen and all. On the inside, two discs this time. Obi-Wan Kenobi and Anakin Skywalker. As with all the other season releases of Clone Wars, we also got a DVD release. Clone Wars The Lost Missions, got the bonus sticker there, we'll take a look at that as I said in a minute. Again, same stuff on the back as when you open it up, same case here. This is a three disc set, so in this case, you get Obi-Wan, Anakin, and Mace Windu as the third disc in this case. You notice there's no inserts in here. The other season sets tended to come with little inserts, some folded out, some were booklets. In this case, None. All you get is one of those little things with a Disney Movie Rewards code on it, and that's it. So there are no inserts here to tell you what any of the episodes are about. In that sense, they're sort of a step back from those previous season sets that we've gotten, but not by much. Now, as far as content on these discs, bear in mind that there weren't as many episodes in this season as there were otherwise. You got the Unknown Conspiracy Fugitive in Orders, the Order 66 arc, they tend to call it, and Old Friend, The Rise of Clovis, and Crisis at the Heart. Those are the episodes that we know of as the Clovis arc. Then the Disappeared Parts 1 and 2, sort of the Jar Jar and Mace buddy comedy arc, to call it that. Then we have the Lost One, Voices, Destiny, and Sacrifice. Thought of as the Yoda arc, although really the Lost One is kind of a separate deal. And then Voices, Destiny, and Sacrifice are more of a Yoda arc in this case. Now, as is often the case with these, some trailers are on there. In this case, each of these has a trailer on it for Rebels, and a trailer on it for the Disney film Big Hero 6, and another one for the Disney film Maleficent. So we are starting to get into more Disney previews and such than just previews of Star Wars stuff. There's also, interestingly, on the last disc of the Blu-ray, there's a button you can press on the menu called Info. And you're like, ooh, what's this? It's weird. You click Info, it's just that little disclaimer about commentaries or, ne or not necessarily opinions of kind of disclaimers that we've seen a million times, but usually they air before stuff. Now, it's got its own button. Now, this time there is a difference between the Blu-ray and DVD contents, but it's more substantial than what we're probably used to depending on your point of view. You may remember that the Blu-ray sets for the previous seasons had that Jedi Temple Archives thing. It's got deleted scenes, it's got animatics, it's got character models and stuff like that for the individual seasons. And that was pretty cool, and that was something they, of course, couldn't fit onto the DVDs. So it was left out. As far as content you get through the menu outside of Jedi Temple Archives, it's all still there on the DVD. In this case, there are no Jedi Temple Archives, but there's something similar albeit something released on StarWars.com for all to see anyway. You notice what the difference is here. The DVD set says, Bonus, 16-minute Clone Wars documentary. Watch the brand new Star Wars Rebels on Disney XD. 16-minute Clone Wars documentary. Cool. You look at the Blu-ray. Bonus, 16-minute Clone Wars documentary, plus four never-before-broadcast story reels. So what you got here and here 
is Clone Wars Declassified. It is basically a quick little featurette talking about the series, how they're leading into Rebels with it, what they've learned through it, and some of the behind-the-scenes things like a holiday they created around one of the members of the team. It's an odd little featurette, but kind of a nice little sort of send-off, I guess, for the team behind the Clone Wars as they move on to Rebels. As far as bonus features go on the DVD, that's it. That's all you've got. But then very much like deleted scenes and such, on the Blu-ray you get those story reels. What these are, are another four-episode arc, uh, sometimes referred to as the Crystal Crisis on Utapau. It includes the episodes A Death on Utapau, In Search of the Crystal, Crystal Crisis, and The Big Bang. Now, these are not finished episodes. They're all essentially in animatic form, story reel form, those animated storyboards that they tended to do for this series. What they did was they took the audio that was completed and these animatic slash story reels put them together, kind of like what George Lucas would watch before approving certain scenes before it could actually be turned into finished animation. And they originally put these up on StarWars.com. One of them was screwed up and didn't actually run correctly originally, but they finally fixed it. So if you go to StarWars.com, at least as of the time we're recording this, you can actually see all those episodes on there. But to see them in HD, well, such as it is, given that they're story reels, on home video, and not have to worry about them being taken down from a website or something, like in the great StarWars.com purge that made it this, the little dumbed-down Pretty Pictures website, as I often call it, this is the place to get them. You can watch all of them the same way you'd watch regular episodes. Just pull up the little story reel section, you can play, play all, or you can go to each individual one with your remote, and you get to see all four of those episodes, making this essentially a 17-episode season instead of 13. To me, I think that's pretty cool, and of course, they slide right into the Clone Wars storyline, uh, just like these do as sort of an end cap. If you are interested, by the way, in more about Season 6 of Clone Wars and what might have been, be sure to check out that upcoming novel, of course, by Christy Golden with Asajj Ventures and Quinlan Voss called Dark Disciple and the already released Star Wars Darth Maul Son of Dathomir 4-issue series by Jeremy Barlow from Dark Horse Comics. They are based on unproduced Clone Wars Season 6 scripts. So between the 13 here, plus those four story reels, plus those we've got pretty much what season six would have been, give or take an episode or two, which is pretty nice. Just too bad we didn't see it go on beyond that. Star Wars Rebels is pretty awesome so far, but I digress. Now stay tuned here, coming up in the playlist after this episode, a Clone Wars Cuts feature on season six, but it's a reversal this time. Not something added for the home video release, but something removed? Kind of. We'll talk about it in the next episode. With that, thank you for watching and may the Force be with the home video viewers.